Hey, the lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, I just want to do a third episode, which is kind of like a morning talk. Uh, it's actually morning 6 a.m. here. I've been not well for last two days. I've been sleeping a lot. Um, just taking medication. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what caused me the fever, but very weak. Cannot go for a walk or anything. I'm just taking it easy, but I'm still doing work from home, which is reviewing. So I've already done a couple of episode, episodes. So the third episode I want to do, as you can see, some fragrance in front of me. Uh, I want to do a discussion. And the discussion is going to be uh, something like how like geographic location can have an effect on fragrance taste of people. I don't know how I'm going to write it, but I'll find a way. So you'll see, if you see the discussion, you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Hopefully you're doing good and I pray your health is good and uh, take care of your health and, you know, eat healthy, right? Most important thing and drink plenty of water. So um, right now, you know, weather is very bad in Bangladesh, like very extreme. It has been raining for some time, like for a few weeks, it has been raining really hard whole day and we have a lot of dengue cases, means that a lot of mosquitoes are around, right? And it's very muddy, you know, it's very humid. It's not really cooling down the weather that much. You feel like there's no breeze. Then immediately after that, the sun's coming out. Nowadays, very, very hot and humid outside. It's just so like bright. You go out and you just see from the room. If you go out and your eyes, you need sunglasses, right? So why am I talking about weather? And this kind of weather, I'm wearing some freshies, okay? You know, high heat time. You know, there's no rule that you can wear uh, heavy fragrances for, you know, warm weather. You can. You can wear your oud, whatnot. Uh, tobacco, spicy, it's up to you, whatever you feel like. But on most part, I would say people tend for, you know, tend to go for freshies or something like uh, fragrances that are more lighter, aquatic, citrusy, uh, fresh in nature. Okay. So I have all sort of fragrances right in front of me and I want to talk about them. So the whole point on I was thinking yesterday, this topic, that many people don't seem to enjoy certain fragrances. On fragrant, if you go, that's a good. Um, like example right there the people hate on aquatics and I got surprised when I got into fragrance game I could not believe how people hate polo blue or how ha people are hating on Dior Sauvage or something like Versace Purum to them aqua du jour is crap uh, and it really shocked me because this kind of fragrances I love I lived mostly in uh, countries like Bangladesh I live my half-life then about 19 years I stayed in Malaysia, both very warm countries. Sun is up all the time. There's hardly any winter in, there's no winter in Malaysia. But in Bangladesh, we used to get good winters, November, December, January, mid-February, three months of cold weather, like 15, 14, even some areas, five degrees. So for us, the winter foggy uh, weather is a blessing for us, right, in Bangladesh. So it's not like if you're living in a country like Canada, States, where you get uh, snowfall in UK, perhaps Europe. Some of the countries is very, very cold, minus something degrees. My good friends stay in Greece. They talk about the weather. So I see in our group, Fracom Bangladesh, a lot of people wear a lot of things and to them some things are precious, whereas some of the things are uh, not so good. So people like us live in warmer conditions. We sweat a lot, okay, because of the high heat and fragrances disappear quickly. Uh, fragrances performance is not that great. So talking about warm weathers and this kind of weathers, people cannot put on that heavy fragrances, you know, like imagine it's 45, 50 degrees outside and you're wearing like an animal like castorium based fragrance, unless, you know, you uh, don't mind, but I don't think that's going to be the most comfy thing for you or others. Uh, I would imagine people are wearing Versace Purum, Prada Lom, Dior Sauvage, fragrances like the Aqua Di Gio. At most you go Aqua Di Gio Profumo, you know, uh, Dylan Blue. But uh, when the winter comes, people, we actually go for our heavier, spicier fragrance like Gucci Guilty Oud, this Oud fragrance, a Spice Bomb uh, Extreme is kind of like a, how to say, tobacco based fragrance, a lot of uh, vanilla and spice. And here, Annie, like Nishane Annie or Annie, this one is something I also wear in winter, beautiful, boozy vanilla. And here's another example, Platinum Egoist, I wear all year round. This is a perfume, more versatile, you can wear this all year round. And there's a perfect example of summer fragrance, Boss Bottle Pacific. Different type of perfumes, okay? Uh, for summer, this is good. But in winter, this thing is not going to perform or do anything for you. It's not going to project in its heat, right? Uh, Ani, it needs cold weather. It performs like crazy. You put two to three sprays, people know you are wearing cologne for almost whole day. You don't need to reapply. Uh, Gucci Guilty Hood, when it smells nice in cold months, you know, it develops naturally. It has that all those notes you can smell. But in high heat, if you wear these or this, 
this is these are gonna like become really animalic or overbearing and then it will not develop so swiftly it will go immediately to the dry down and it will become sort of like a mess okay this is what i feel and my experience is and when i smell oud on people i'll tell you my personal experience in summer imagine a guy you know all sweating you know like he's just you know like wearing heavy clothing and you know he's wearing heavy oud uh, smoky and then maybe vetiver which is very very raw uh, i feel i cannot stand next to that person because the high heat i cannot it's overbearing you know it's disturbing my <laughs> system uh, with all due respect of course but if you like to wear you wear but i think in office people not allow you to wear heavy fragrance which disturb others because with your sweat your bodily mask you know in a decent way if i say it mixes together sometimes the hairy people you know it doesn't really give the most pleasant experience you feel like oh this guy smells like pan masala or super uh, spicy you know ooh, you will be like man i want to stay away from this guy you know even the lift the fragrance gets stuck for hours people go like uh you know like sick S same fragrance you wear in winter cold weather it's very well made most of the fragrances like wood amazing it's right at the back this fragrance i wear in mostly colder months it smells really nice you know it smells so beautiful same fragrance i wear in high heat man people will choke okay because it's heavy right so why is it important now you see whether it's important for people's culture like people let's say lives in greece people live in greece italy or uh, france you know they see different weathers than us like we in bangladesh never saw snowfall we're not gonna see it uh, and then we cannot bring out our heavy clothing like uh, you people do in europe or canada you guys live in extreme cold condition you don't see any sun or anything and you just love you do anything for warm weather i've seen people from uk hey i would like to uh, <laughs> exchange or uh, swap if possible like the movie the holiday right uh, you don't know what you're talking about by the way if you live in one of our countries you're going to have sunburn so bad <laughs> then you die to go back to back to your country because the humidity and heat together doesn't work so i think very few countries are lucky enough to get very pleasant weather all year round like uk is a beautiful i just visited so i know so twice i visited every time the weather is so pleasant you enjoy cooking you enjoy the backyard you like growing uh, vegetables fruits pick up fresh strawberries man it's like a dream you know even though with all the economic conditions a different story now but such a beautiful country is clean the roads are so beautifully done and the, the the houses are built like in the traditional way not many high rise buildings so everybody has their own house and all that so you know that kind of fragrance uh, that that kind of country will have a different kind of fragrance culture you wear a fragrance people may ask you what you're wearing in our side of country nobody ask anybody like what you're wearing if you ask someone they think you are uh, crazy like something's wrong with you you're trying to ask for money or something so it's the culture did not develop right so i think some countries they have that close culture like people really do not socialize that much they are unsocial uh, i'm not going to say i have seen people to be very social in uk most of people they uh, avoid each other they don't talk to each other they never say hi or greet i said good morning or evening to other people they don't even respond but i think you know i've seen people in states they say hey uh, i've seen one uh, black dude he's like uh, Pudding. I have seen him like in the one of the groups. He said, "Bro, I was wearing fierce, and God, I had got massive compliments from the girl at the counter." And you hear these stories; these are real, you know. Uh, people are very friendly. They say hi to your dog. So these things are related. When you talk about fragrances, how people are in general, if they're outgoing, if they're friendly, and if they actually give you compliments, they really mean it. Uh, in that way fragrance culture is different but many countries people don't care for it and people don't even smell your fragrance okay sad to say i'll tell you what your sauvage i wore that so many times bleu de chanel i wore it like 20 sprays nobody could smell my fragrance in malaysia trust me nobody because it goes away so fast and uh, it really broke my heart but in comparison our country has high humidity i don't know for some reason fragrances project a lot more so we are blessed in a way but we're also not blessed i hate the heat here i hate the humidity here i just love the winter okay so this is how cultural uh, differences make choices for people you know like not everybody likes by the fireplace you know like mason martin margiela if you live in a colder country that's a genius fragrance for you because you love that warm the spices and then by the fireplace feel and the wood burning imagine we are already burning ourselves in bangladesh right <laughs> and imagine people are burning wood next to us like hey bro 
why you try to fry me or something you know uh, see this is how it works so india i feel really i want to go to india and stay for a while nepal during the winters by the himalayas because you see very cold weather you see people are making coffee and then they're making some soup or some food or you know like i don't know they're making some sort of a winter food or cakes man you know you want to enjoy the fragrance with that kind of atmosphere so the weather makes huge huge uh difference it plays a huge role um how the weathers are if it's cooler weather like agreeable weather most of the fragrances even you you can pull off even in uk the summers you know the sun is out but you don't feel burning you don't feel like oh man it's unbearable i'm sweating you don't go to the sweating point right so people who live in colder countries they wish for warmer weather people who live in war warm countries they wish for man i wish i could go to where it snows you know i can wear some gloves and i can wear some boots heavy boots right so yeah this is the discussion i wanted to do like what do you think of this topic man like i know not everybody is fan of the same fragrance like lamal you know not everybody likes lamal but in some countries it's really loved i've seen people hating on coach for men uh because it smells generic you know but some countries people like this is my most complimented fragrance you know um so do you think the fragrance culture or fragrance uh, like preferences depend on uh the weather i do think so i do think like uh, aquatics they rule the market whenever there is this warm weather out sunny days out and there's like by the dock you know if you're boating or a lot of water involved then you can appreciate bulgari aqua or bulgari amara aqua amara like if you have sun right up there blue skies you're sailing you have your uh, oakley's sunglasses and you're just like going for fishing perhaps yeah man those kind of parties you need to take out fragrance like let's say boss bottle pacific beautiful fragrance beautiful coconut uh, sweet salty perfectly balanced fragrance but you know all year round some fragrances work really well like namigwis warms you up in colder months with the spices and cool you down uh, in the warmer months right so yeah there is something for everybody out there but again fragrances are very distinctive thing everybody not supposed to like the same fragrance so do let me know what you think about it what's your favorite fragrance what are your weathers like and uh, do you wear freshies in winter time or cooler countries or it's just like a no no for you you just like more heavy fragrances or people who live this part of the world africa or somewhere you know where uh, <clears throat> like south africa zimbabwe where it's always warm and hot uh, what kind of fragrance do you prefer what kind of fragrance do you pull off which fragrance do prefer uh, perform on you do let everybody know so we get to know different countries different fragrance culture thank you so much for watching have a nice day i think i hopefully will feel better give me your prayers always take care bye bye